And contrary to what I said, I would argue there's extremely minimal supports, actually rehabilitative supports actually offered. In one example, uh, the department estimates 70% of uh, the prison population struggles with addiction issues. In Mount Joy, that translates to about 600 prisoners. There are only two addiction counsellors in Mount Joy to meet the needs of those 600 prisoners. There's a significant under-provision of probation officers. So the idea that we, we provide robust rehabilitative options is, it, I, is one that I would not agree with. And as I say, I think it's extremely minimal supports. And if we are trying to invest in people long term rehabilitation and prevent crime in the long term, we need to invest in these. And there are alternatives. There's uh, a, a non-custodial community-based sentencing, which is a commitment in the programme for government, which isn't being progressed and would be a much better choice in, than, than the significant capital expenditure of simply creating more prisons, where we're creating the same poor environment that is producing poor outcomes at the minute. Um, if we are going to be investing in extra prison spaces, we need to look at what's happening across Europe, where uh, the, the, the uh, rescale campaign to produce smaller prisons with lower numbers in them so that services can be offered in a more effective way is the way forward. 